In today's video, I bought a graded Yu-Gi-Oh collection. In this box, there is a graded Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another collection purchase. I, mean, I bought a lot of collections recently, but this one I think is gonna be pretty awesome. I've kind of seen the list, so I kind of have seen it at some point, but it's been a while, so I really don't remember what's inside. It makes it more exciting. I have pulled a bunch of it out. Uh, it's just still in these little like white packages. There's a bunch of booster boxes here. We also have a starter deck right here. Thanks, Ruxin. Love your videos. You got me back in Yu-Gi-Oh! so much that I vend at conventions to aid my personal collection. Tyson, hopefully we meet one day IR. Oh, here we go. Here's an SDK deck to give away. Okay. The giveaway for this video, SDK deck. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below your favorite item in this collection. It looks like there's going to be some pretty awesome stuff. Uh, so he's giving away to your subscribers. Hopefully we meet one day IRL to shake your hand. I love it. I hope that we do. That would be great. So pretty cool giveaway. Is this first ad? Okay, not first ad. That would be pretty insane because this is the ulti ulti blue eyes in here so pretty cool giveaway if you guys want some of the cards that you see in this video a lot of the graded stuff is on my website ruxon34.com check out the link in the description if you guys want to pick it up some have sold but a lot of them are still available i'll be posting cards there for sale more often so check out ruxon34.com if you guys want to pick up stuff from me all right let's start going through these these look like a bunch of booster boxes i didn't remember that there were boxes in here at all i told you guys it's been a while since i've looked rise of the duelist okay that's a box right there Okay, Rise of Duelist, old school, you know, been reprinted a bunch, but there's some pretty nice starlights that you can potentially get. Pretty expensive box. Let's see what this one is. Looks like Rage of Raw, maybe? Yes, Rage of Raw, potential Ghost Rare right here. Ghost Rare, Wing Dragon of Raw, very cool. Okay, a couple booster boxes. That's a good start. That's like 2011 era right there. Let's see what this one's going to be. Feels a little bit bigger like a Legendary Duelist as well. Yep, another Rage of Raw. Pretty cool. So more potential at that Ghost Rare. Next up, what else do we have inside? We have, open it up, open it up. What will it be? It is a Toon Chaos First Edition. Okay, that's nice. First Ed Toon Chaos, good stuff. I mean, Unlimited is cool as well, but having those first Eds is super nice for those collector rares. So that's pretty cool. A lot of 2000, 2020 and 2021 era at the moment, which is good stuff for the most part. See, this might be another Rage of Rods. Is it all Rage of Rods Toon Chaos? Okay, I mean, that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. I guess Rise of Duels too. Okay, what about you? Are you, oh, this one looks like, uh-oh. Oh man, we've got an absolute power force booster box. That is an unlimited, but this is a 5Ds there. I love the 5Ds booster boxes. I think they look incredible. Oh man, that's pretty sick. One day I would like to have one of every booster box. That's that's kind of a long shot dream that eventually we might start working. I mean, I kind of have, I have a few booster boxes, but for every first ed box, it's going to be tough. I mean, this isn't first ed, but just, just throwing that out there. It would be really cool to have at some point. Okay, that's a pretty big box. That's a pretty big jump from like a 2020 box. That's like a 2010, maybe 2009. Okay, we can see this one. This looks like another Rise of the Duelist first ed. Still a really great box. I mean, super solid set. I'm going to make another stack. Okay, I got a little sneak peek at this one. This one, you might be able to see. We're talking Crossroads of Chaos right here, which this is big time right here. A lot of these booster boxes, by the way, will be for sale on my website, ruxin34.com, after I pick these up. Uh, and if you want it to be an opening on the vi on the video or on the channel, you know, make a video for you guys, just let me know, send me a message or whatever, and then before or after you buy it, then we can figure that out, because that could be really cool as well for a lot of these boxes. Okay, we got another one. We got a first ed absolute power force. Oh, that's so cool. I kind of, this is one I kind of want to hang on to, but we'll have to see. This is a vintage Yu-Gi-Oh special, AKA vintage Yu-Gi-Oh, the guy, not just like old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh. Whoa, do they normally have these? What is this? Interesting seal. This might be like a Euro thing. I don't know. You Euro people out there, you guys are experts on the all the different things. Euro has so many different things when it comes to like printing and stuff. That's interesting. I've never seen that. Really cool. I mean, these absolute power force boxes are always like something weird is happening with them. Like you're pulling 12 foils, pulling three foils. Uh, they're sealed weird. You know, they have different covers like Jack's on there. He's not on there. It's just a bunch of crazy stuff. But first at absolute power force. That's really cool. I'm excited. I didn't realize that was in here. All right. I know uh, Lewis has to open one of those like every other month. So, I mean, who knows? He might be interested, but I kind of want to keep that one. We'll have to see. There's another uh, Tomb Chaos. That's pretty cool. Oh, look. Another Toon Chaos. Pretty cool. I mean, we can't really complain about, what, four Toon Chaos booster boxes? Is that three or four? No, only three. It's a quarter of a case right there. So that's a ratio to get one collector rare at least, you would think. So we'll have to see. There are loose boxes, so you never really know. 
And then we have a Rage of Raw first edition box. So that's one, two, three, four of those. So a third of a case, potential at that ghost rare. Wing Dragon of Raw. I don't know why I thought it wasn't Wing Dragon of Raw for a second, but it's late. I'm recording it's midnight, so I should probably be in bed right now. Okay, now that we've done the booster boxes, we actually have the singles inside, which is here's the graded part that I was talking about at the beginning. Graded, there's also uh, non-graded singles in here as well. So there's just a good collection. There's a lot of varieties, boxes, graded, ungraded, you know, I mean, basically everything. Okay, right, we've got those that look like non-graded. What is this? Another... What is this box? Another little mini box. This is like you keep opening the boxes and it's just a bunch of boxes. You never get to anything. Okay, let's let's open this mysterious box first. I'm interested in what this is. Is this a bunch of dice or something? Like what? Uh, no, that's a little too solid. It might just be singles. This is a really weird box. Like why is it not a deck box? Maybe he didn't have a deck box? He, well, he has one here, but maybe he only had one or something. Oh, it's oh, top loaders. Okay. Okay, I see. Uh-oh. Uh oh no spoilers. No spoilers for what could be inside. I saw a ghost rare. I'll just say that. Okay, before we get to the top loaders, let's do this because these are not graded and they're not in top loaders. So they're probably the worst of the three that we get to choose from here. Uh, and if these are the worst, we have an ulti Mobius. So that's a great start. Uh, we have an ulti Vanity's Fiend. So we are talking high end car. Wow, these are really pretty and they're double sleeve with Gezi sleeves. Shout out to Gezi sleeves, guys. Check them out. The legend. I did have like a, a code form for I, I think I still have it. I have to go find what it was. Um, but you guys could use that and go check out his sleeves. He has a bunch. Uh, they're actually really cool sleeves. I like them. They're pretty. I mean, they're a little bit more expensive. But that's because, I mean, he's doing it and it's not like a big company. So, you know, the, the cost is a little bit higher for people like that. We're not doing like thousands of sleeves and stuff. So uh, that is something you have to understand, of course. But uh, I think they're doing a great job with the sleeves. Gezi is a good friend of mine. So good to see him making cool stuff for Yu-Gi-Oh. I know he's making the Metal Raiders versions coming soon. So I'm pretty excited for that. Ghost Rare, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, not one, not two three i was gonna say not three four five six of them okay double play set why not double play this would be a great for a thumbnail i mean check that out you can't even like get them all in the light at the same time that's insane okay that's pretty sick all right we are still opening collection let's see let's just go backwards like this we have oh ghost rares why not okay dark arm dragon wing dragon a raw wing dragon a raw okay hopefully these are not from the boxes that we have we have a red eyes black dragon red eyes black dragon red eyes black dragon oh there's the starlight this is wait monsters revenge it has an actual starlight dark arm it's very dark this must be euro print that one looks different that might be the u.s print versus the euro print that's pretty cool actual starlight it is right Oh, no, never mind. This is 25th, not actual Starlight, 25th anniversary. These actually look a lot like Starlights on this one. Uh, we have Faded Blue Eyes, but uh, the name's kind of jacked there, so it's kind of iffy. We have the Dark Magician Girl, a couple of those, three of those, two Blue Eyes. Man, th this is pretty nice right now. Then we have uh, Starlight Rare, or is that a 25th? What is this from? Dune, so it's a 25th. Uh, Dark Magician Girl, I'm sorry. Dark Magician, Adidas. I'm just saying Dark Magician Girl, Adidas promo. We got two of those. We got the Curse of Cyber Dragon. I'm just saying random names that are not the right name. Curse of Dragon. I said it again. We have Magician. Hey, this is the one we don't have yet. Magician of Bonds and Unity. That's cool. We did pull the yellow one. If you guys didn't see that, go check it out. I posted on Instagram as well. Blackwing Armor Masters. Is this the real or the fake? It looks like it's from Crystal Revenge. So this is the real one. This is not the promo. Not fake. I'm sorry. I take it back. Not fake. I'll, you know what I mean? We have the Black Wing Dragon. I never pulled this one. Fred Ice Flare Metal Ulti. Okay. We got the original MRL Secret Rare Blue Eyes Tune. Couple of those. Ooh, Speed Duel Tournament Pack 1. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then, man, Ghost from the Past. He just has it all. So, wow. We're not even to the graded part. All right. Glad I got that sweatshirt off because I was on fire right there. I couldn't think at all. Okay. Obviously, because I couldn't speak. Okay. Now we have some graded stuff. So, first, we have an Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon Jim Matin First Edition. That is beautiful. That looks awesome. He's got some price tags on here, too. That's pretty cool. Ultimate Rare First Ed. That's a Jim Minton. We have the Dark Magician Ultimate Rare First Ed Jim Minton. That's beautiful as well. I haven't bought like graded cards in a while, so this is pretty fun. I, wait, why do, why do I feel like I bought something recently that was graded now? Now that I say that. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. This is spell ruler 2017 so that's actually pretty cool to see that get a 10 those are really hard to grade you guys remember i tried to grade some of those 2017 promos didn't go so well psa 9 very i like these psa official sleeves psa actually sent me some of those the other day and i was like oh cool like just randomly there's like pokemon packs and psa sleeves i was like this is kind of weird but thank you i appreciate it uh ghost rare blue eyes psa 9 yeah a lot of these will be for sale by the way so if you're interested hit me up and uh, some will be for sale we're buying this collection um but a lot of it is going back up for sale you know we got we got to sell stuff around here 
on my shop, on my Instagram. Check out my Instagram at Ruxin34 if you guys want to check it out. Most likely it's going to be for sale there. So come ask me there if you would like. You can email me as well. Chaos Dragon let me in here. I feel like I graded one of these recently. I sold it to Rhyme Style, I think, for like really cheap. It was like 150 bucks, 125, something like that. PSA 8. Whoa! First day. Oh, I was about to say, I was like, this is cheap. Asian English. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, why is this $180? That's nuts. Um, we have another that should be paired with the other one, probably. Ultimate Rare. Now we're into 25th anniversary PSA 10s. Okay, pretty cool. We have a Dark Magician Girl movie pack. I just had one of these recently for consignment. Pretty cool. We have a $60 Gem Mint 10. That's, wow, Gay Guardian's cheap these days. We've got a Mint 9, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Dude, this jump card, this card is one of the best looking artworks. It's amazing. Look at this thing. That is so cool. That is an underrated card right there. Blue Eyes Alternative from the Secret Rare MVP 1. Very cool, because there's like 50 versions of it. We've got a second one. That's pretty awesome. Them. Speaking of that, I love the blue eyes from this. I think it is one of the best looking blue eyes. The gold secret's pretty cool too, though. I'm a big fan of that one. So this is a great collection. I'm loving this. Just love seeing Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Sometimes I'm just like, man, I have a cool job. Just go look at Yu-Gi-Oh cards, buy them, sell them. You know, it's just fun stuff, you know, dealing with cards. Even if I don't keep them, it's like I get to check them out and uh, have them on hand. It's very fun. So error attribute. I think that's pretty common for these. But PSA, wow, how do these get PSA 10s? Mine all had scratches all over them. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got another one. What in the, you got two of them. We must add some clean ones. All of mine, like all 100 of mine were damaged. It was unfortunate. Okay, not damaged, but scratched up on the back. Okay, Spell Ruler Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. That's an eight. That's what all of mine got. Let me open those. We have a 25th anniversary Blue Eyes. Got a nine, unfortunate. Speaking of 2017, yep, here's what I got. PSA eights, makes sense. We have a Ultimate Rare First Ed, PSA 9. Here, this will go with his other six. Blue Eyes White Dragon, these are impossible to grade. Got an eight, makes sense. And then finally, one more card we have. Blue Eyes White Dragon from the Mega 10. What year is this? 2017, I think, maybe? Because it's CT 14, it's always confusing, but I think it's three years later. 2017 is when it actually was there so pretty amazing collection i'm excited to pick this one up if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and make sure to let me know in the comments what your favorite card was or item because there's some pretty nice boxes as well and if you see anything you're interested in it's likely it will be for sale so hit me up and if you want to buy a box have it open for video that can happen too shout out to tone Fo show dax or tomato juice puffins of doom ernesto gn america doyster supreme stage 21 cj liu going 62 Yu Gi Oh unboxed and a tie show ian musa jr bardic robert f thomas mclean and changa lang thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.